Guilty. A Smith County jury today found former Christus nurse William Davis responsible for murdering four patients at a Tyler Hart Hospital. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sarah Allegre. Now, we were there as the quick and serious verdict came down. Lauren Margolis leads us off tonight. The day started with almost three hours of closing arguments. He killed these four patients. He did it on purpose. He did it by injecting air into their arterial lines. There's no other way. We're going to ask you to find him guilty of capital murder because it's exactly what he did. I don't think he did it. I don't think the evidence shows that he did it. And if you follow the law, you'll understand that as well. After less than one hour of deliberations, the verdict was in. Judge Austin Reeve Jackson announced the jury had convicted William Davis of killing four patients. I was saying four hours. I was really, really shocked when it was uh, an hour. Many people from both sides filled the courtroom, but some had no ties to the case and were just interested in watching what has arguably been one of the most high-profile trials East Texas has seen in a decade. It's just sad for everybody involved, for the victims. It's sad for his family. And there's a lot of people hurting. There's a lot of victims. East Texas attorney Randy Roberts shares his thoughts. But the jury would not have returned the verdict that quickly if they thought the district attorney's office had been in a rush or sloppy or somehow um, not up to standards when they presented the case. He predicts the future for hospital staff. It never dawned on anyone around here that a nurse would be killing patients. Given that we know it can happen now, you're going to see a lot tighter regulation or a supervision of the entire staff at hospitals. This guilty verdict now triggers the second phase of the trial where the jury will now decide whether to sentence Davis to death or life in prison without parole. Lauren Margolis, Fox 51 News. The second phase is expected to last several weeks. His sentencing will begin tomorrow at 830 in the morning. Fox 51 News will be inside the courtroom to keep you updated. We will have the latest on our newscast and, of course, on our website. That is fox51.com.